Have you ever wanted to increase the speed at which your car travels or the distance it travels? Well, worry no more because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ball bearings to accomplish both tasks. And make sure you watch until the end because I will be sharing with you how to get ball bearings for super cheap. Hey, what's up guys? If you haven't met me before, my name is Faison and I make videos about science, technology, and engineering, competitions, and projects. And if you find any of that interesting, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, if you find any value here today from this video, please consider sharing this video with a friend and letting me know by leaving a like on the video and commenting what you learned in the comments down below. Now, if you're designing any type of car or moving object that uses an input source to move, then you're always going to be losing some amount of energy to friction, which is caused by two different objects con that are contacting each other and are touching each other while they're moving. And although you, so for example, if you're using a car and there's an axle that attaches to the wheels that rotates every time your car moves forward, then every time that axle rotates, you're going to be losing some amount of the energy that causes that axle to rotate to friction. And the more amount of energy you lose to friction, the slower your car goes and the, and the lower the distance your car is actually able to travel. And there's a lot of solutions to solve this issue. For example, you could use WD-40 or other types of oils in, that, in those areas where your car touches or your car's axles touches the car's frame. But if you don't have access to those, you could always use a, a sort of graphite powder to lubricate the areas where parts of your, where moving parts of your car contact stationary parts. And doing that will allow your car to, to spin its axles a lot cleaner and make your car go a lot faster and a lot smoother, even if you don't have access to ball bearings. But if you have the space in your budget and you'll find out how you can make room in your budget to get ball bearings, but if you have the time to implement ball bearings or the funds to implement ball bearings, then I highly recommend you take advantage of that. I highly recommend you implement ball bearings into your car because that's the single best way to reduce friction between your car's axles and your car's frame. And friction is the detriment to most it is the detriment to most science Olympiad mousetrap vehicles if weight is not the issue. Now, if weight is an issue for your car, then you want to focus on that first before you go and invest in ball bearings. But right now, I'm assuming that everything else is perfect, except you don't have ball bearings. And again, I just really want to emphasize this. There are other ways that you can, that you can solve friction on your mousetrap vehicle, but the best way is to put ball bearings on the axles so that you reduce friction substantially. Now, if you've ever used a fidget spinner, then you know how, how exactly ball bearings work. Because if you look at a fidget spinner, then you notice that there's four different bearings, again, if you're looking at a standard fidget spinner. Now, if you look at the center one, which is the one we're really after, once you spin the bearings, you notice that it seems to spin infinitely. But if you take off the discs, you notice that there is a center bearing within that entire fidget spinner. And that if you know, look at the bearing more closely, you'll see that there's a bunch of little balls that are, as I described, evenly spaced out and heavily lubricated. And, I, and if you take that same concept of using a heavily lubricated ball bearing on your mousetrap vehicle, you should be able to reduce the amount of friction within your car, allowing it to go faster and further. 
And if you're not able to invest in the in miniature ball bearings that are probably more ideal for a mousetrap vehicle because they are because they reduce the amount of weight each ball bearing has, you could always invest in uh, in what printed spinner use, which are skateboard bearings, which are bigger, yes, on average than other bearings that people use, but it definitely will not break the bank. I believe you can buy a complete set of four different ball bearings for under $5, which is a significant or very insignificant amount of money to allocate towards making your car a lot better. Now, if you found any value in this video here today, please be sure to share it with a friend or family member and let me know that you found value by hitting the like button or commenting whatever you learned in the comments down below. And please be sure to subscribe to the channel because I post new videos about science, technology, and engineering projects and competitions every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.